Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You bested Godric the Grafted and claimed a great rune. My congratulations. Now, visit the Round Table Hold for an audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. Go to the Round for an audience with... Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the Greater Will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace. Called to act, brave tarnished. Your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind. To become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the Earth Tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? Now go full at the words of the fi- You've had your audience. 
with the two fingers at the round table hold. What was your impression? You don't say. Well, what a relief that must be. You may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers. Oh? Aha! Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you, something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Be sure to try that. There's no reason to the tarnished were spurned by <laughs> your loyal.
Lambkin. So pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Hmm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Hmm, yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Ah, my lambkin, you've completed your final trial, and with this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment 
of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. No! Never forget that feeling of agony, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Oh, another thing. You should have this. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. 